Hello, my name is Roger Claxton and welcome to this series of bite-sized talks entitled Poor on the Moor. The talks are in segments and based on the records in the Widdicombe archive and the project that commenced in 2011 to digitise and catalogue them. The talks are based on the contents of the recently published book Welfare in Widdicombe 1700 to 1900 written by me. You can get a copy through our website widdicombeinthemore.com forward slash welfare and various other outlets and there are also ebook versions available. This is the fourth segment of the Poor on the Moor series of talks and discusses how the church rate money was spent. By way of uh, digression, this is what the cover of the earliest preserved church warden's account book looks like. It was in use from 1712 to 1745. And this is the first page of that book showing the condition it is in. I have to say this, that this is not typical of the account books in general, which are in overall good, pretty good condition. You will see this from some of the images I'll be showing shortly. OK, so how was the church rate spent? The church expenses are relatively understandable. For example, repairs to the fabric of the church and related buildings are obviously important and totally a local responsibility. Salaries were also paid to the clerk, the sexton, and some regular ecclesiastical expenses, such as the dean ruler's fee. Also included were the day-to-day -day expenses of the church for conducting services such as bread and wine, washing and cleaning, annual dinners, etc. So here's an example from the 1805 accounts. Again, I'll take you through it. So this is the account of disbursements laid out by Peter Wilcox, church warden, and James Barter for Lake. In generally speaking, when they mention the church wardens, they say which property they were associated with. And here we can see for the minister's dinner, five shillings, the old and new church warden's dinners, eight shillings, for the book articles and fees of the court, eight shillings and eight pence. I think this is sort of annual expense. The dean ruler's fee, two shillings, another annual expense. The clerk's salary, four pound, four shillings. For washing the surplus and keeping clean the things belonging to the communion, six shillings. And for bread for the sacraments, two and six, etc. OK, we can now look at another example. This shows the cost of wine that was used for the sacraments. Here we can see for five gallons of wine at one pound, two shillings per gallon, five pounds, ten shillings, and carriage of the same, five shillings. So quite a lot of money spent on wine, although I think that probably lasted a year or so. And now we can look at yes another example from the same year. All these are available, by the way, at widdicombearchive.org.uk forward slash welfare if you want to look at the complete page and the complete transcript. And here we can see Mr. Langdon, Langdon's bill, two days to Manhattan with one horse drawing timber. That was eight shillings and paid for beer for the workmen at Manhattan, one shilling. Two days taking down and drawing up the timber in the tower, three shillings. Paid for 50 feet of, we think that's rags, at two pence per foot, and one load of stones. Interesting what they had to purchase and how they had to get hold of it. I travel all the way to Manhattan to get uh, some timber to repair the church tower. Moving on to another example. Music was a very important part of church services. And here we can see a payment to Mr. Colander for 17 journeys instructing the singing. Cost quite a lot of money. And for new herring the bow of the bass viol Another three shillings. And there are many, many more uh, examples in the accounts. And I mustn't forget to mention that John Pot Potter was paid 
for tuning the clappers as well. Okay, that's the end of segment four on spending the church rate. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope it's given you some ideas of how the church rate was spent. Stay tuned for the next segment, which explores how the poor rate was spent on the poor. Thanks for listening. Never cross of the dark again.